In this video, we are going to take a look at the Flip Normals Eye Kit for Modo. This is a really nice and quick setup, and you really don't have to do a whole lot. The eyes are already set up for you, so it's really about how do you actually use them. This is what it looks like when you're opening up the scene for the first time. You have the different eyes in different in the different groups under the item list. So if you want the blue eyes, enable those. If you want the brown eyes, enable those. If you want the green eyes, enable those, and so on and so forth. Most of the time, though, you want to use these in a different project, meaning that you want to bring these into another character. You could, of course, build your character around the eyes, but most of the time you want to do the opposite. You want to bring this into another scene. There are two ways we can do this. First off, we can take our eyes, and we can simply just drag them into another scene. So just drag them in here, and then we want to um, simply hit uh, OK, because children and shaders are enabled. Now, in our character scene, you can now see we have our character and we have the eyes. So we can simply just take the eyes, go into the item mode, and just move them around. We can go into the right view and we can just move them just like so. I prefer to do this in two operations. I prefer to first go into the right view and then I go into the front view. Uh, it just gives me really nice control over it instead of having to go into the perspective view and trying to fiddle around. So right view and then, pers and then front view works really well. So now we have the eye in the character. You can also scale it up and down a little bit. Keep in mind that this uses a, uses a displacement map, which is tied to the actual scale of the scene. So if you take this up too much or too little, it's the displacement map is not going to work correctly. But you know, within the percentages we just did now, that's going to work fine. So now we have the eye in our scene. And by default, it's going to look like this. So now we have a really nice eye just directly into our character. Now, if you want to duplicate this, we can easily do that by selecting the, um, the group, hitting Control-D, and then we can move this over like so. And there we go. We now have the eyes in both places. If you want to dilate the eyes, you can also easily do that. Under the, um, the group, we have two meshes, one called dilation and one called neutral. So if you want to use the neutral, which is, doesn't have anything fancy, it looks like this. Uh, and if you want to use dilation, it looks like that, which is just has a little bit of dilation already baked into it by default. So if you want to actually change this, you open it up and you see we have eyes close to blue. And here we have a morph influence. So simply select the, the morph influence and then we can change this from all the way down to zero, which means it's going to make it open, or we can set it all the way up to 100, which can close it. Most of the time, you probably want to stick to between like something like 80 to 20. You really don't want to take it all the way, but you can if you want to. So now you can uh, you can do that, and then we can start to render it again. Now, if you want to bring in the eyes in a different way, where we can bring in all the eyes at once, we can go to File, we can go to Import, and then we go to uh, the... Um, the, C the scene files directory, and we select uh, Moto. Hit open, and this is going to import the entire thing into it. And now you can see that we have the eyes under here, which imported the scene with the camera and everything, which we don't necessarily need. So we can now, for instance, take the brown eyes. We can just hide the blue eyes. We can take the brown eyes, and we can move it up like so. Same thing as before. Front view, get it into approximate location. Then it's the right view. Then we move this in here. And you, you'll you get a hang of this after a little while. It, it is always strangely tricky to actually place the eyes in the head. Cool. So now we have the eye here. So now what we can do, we can just start to render again. Now you can see that it's reflective of the brown eye. But what you often want to do when it comes to brown eyes, at least sometimes, is you want to make the sclera darker. The sclera is the white of the eye, and different ethnicities have a slightly different um, color on the sclera. Usually you have a bright one, and then you have a darker one. So if this character had a slightly darker skin, you might want to use the dark sclera. So in order to do that, we select the sclera mesh. You can simply just click the, ob uh, the object in the viewport, hit the M key, and now you can see that we have a dark sclera bright and sclera dark. So if we click that, now you can see the sclera became a lot darker right away. This works really well if you have slightly darker skin. It just blends really well with the surrounding skin tones. If you want to change the texture resolution, you can easily do that as well. If we want to change this, for for instance, for the, um, for the sclera, 
we can go under the shader tree. We can go open up all the shaders, and then we can select the one we want. Then we can go to Sclera Dark, and under Sclera Dark, you can see different maps. You have bump, transparency, and diffuse amount. So you want to change the resolution on this from the default one, which is 2K, to something like 1K. You simply right-click on it, you hit Replace Image, and then you can go to Scalera 1K, and you can pick Scalera Dark 1K. And now this is going to be a 1K image instead of a 2K image. As a heads up, you probably won't need much more than 512 or 1K image. By default, we are using 2K, which just means you can go pretty pretty close up on your on your eyes. But for for a shot like this, for instance, you really wouldn't need more than 512. But our eyes are <laughs> designed so they work with the craziest of resolutions. So if you are a complete madman and you want to go this close, you absolutely can do that. But then you might want to change this to 4K. So that's how you use the iKit for Moto. Very nice and easy. And um, let us know what characters you make with Moto.